Well, good morning and welcome to Salisbury on a bank holiday Monday. Um, second long run of the bank holiday weekend. But actually, more importantly, we are going to try and do the northern section of the Avon Valley Path today, which starts in Salisbury and goes all the way down basically the valley of the River Avon, of course, and ends up in Christchurch of Christchurch Priory. We're going to try and do the northern section down into Ringwood, uh, which is still going to be 20, 24, 25 miles maybe. So a very, very long sort of run stroke hike today um, on some fairly tired legs. We did do 19 miles a day before yesterday. Um, but look at this. Wow. Salisbury Cathedral. It's the, uh, the favourite favorite visiting spot in the UK of Russian spies. Um, uh, but also an extremely grand place. And I've never actually been this close to it before. So uh, we've got commute switched on. The recenter. And yeah, we're walking down this path around the side of the church. Um, take a few little roads out of Salisbury. Um, and then we're heading out across sort of country, a mixture of roads, paths and trail fields. And we shall see where we get to. So anyway, welcome to the Avon Valley Path. And I uh, hope you enjoy the scenery. Bye for now, guys. Bye bye. Strange. There's a swan in the middle of the road. <laughs> oh wow. What are you doing up here? Oh well. Okay, hey, we're doing a right turn. Right turn. Well, there we go. First sign. So uh, we're 0.6 of a mile in and we're not lost yet. It's definitely a climb. Harnham Slope. Sounds encouraging, doesn't it? Okay, let's, uh, let's go. Hello again, just coming up to one mile, not quite one mile, and we've been climbing um, all the way out from the town, city centre, sorry. So, uh, yeah, still going up, but as you see, we're in a nice little uh, wooded path now, so it's quite shaded, quite quiet. It's actually very pleasant. I haven't done an awful lot of running so far, so we're mostly going uphill. It's taking it a bit easy, just going to get sort of settled in. See how we do. Anyway, let's go down. Uh, just over one and a half miles and we just crossed the road and we're now back on the footpath. Two miles in, we've just uh, popped out of a very nifty little path. Now into the fields. Three miles in and uh, doing a little bit of navigation here just alongside a little stream. Hang on. We lost. Hang on. Path is here. 
Oh no, cows can be dangerous. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh. I think it's up there. Let's go. I had a call from work as well. It's a bit inconvenient, it's a public holiday, but I said I'd cover for somebody. I really hope they don't need any help because I'm going to be about seven hours before I lock onto my laptop and read emails. Oh well, let's carry on. <laughs> that was one of those arty shots. Hi, right, so we're 5.2 miles in. It's about an hour and a quarter. We're not going very quick. Oh, it's kind of warm and very up and down. That's a fun road to cross, isn't it? Not. Hello again, just over six miles. And uh, we've crossed the A338. And uh, some slightly flatter ground. Hello again, six and a half miles. And we're going through the little village of Charlton All Saints. Which is... Uh, Quite lovely, except there's a car coming. Just taking a little, uh, little detour to the old church. Right, that's a moment of quiet reflection, a little bit of culture. We can uh, get back to uh, sweating and burping and farting and panting now, so uh, let's get back to the trail. Not scared at all. There's nothing in the corn. There's nothing in the corn. There's nothing in the corn. I know you can't see it, but in the straight over there, in the distance, the bar of Salisbury Cathedral. Just under 10 miles away. Well, we've come. Whee! We're running down a hill. Oh, this is exciting. back up. Oh well, if all good things come to an end.
straight up. And we still climb. So we're 11.3 miles in. And cows are safely on the left, the other side of the fence. The cows are safely back on the road. That is Harry's Meadow campsite. Seems to be emptying fast. We just come or going through a little of hail. And uh, I think this takes us down to Hale House, maybe. Um, anyway. There is church. Hello again. So we're 12 miles in. Just been past uh, St Mary's Church in Hale. Um, it was a bit of a drop down. Got very close to the river. She just walked across and could see the river. A little bridge across and some youngsters swimming. That were really, really tempting actually. Um, but anyway, we carried on along the road a little bit. We just climbed up off the road, forked up to the left up a hill. And we're back out in the country again. So, uh, yeah, another little bit of hiking. Better go and check the navigation and just see where the path leads us now. So, uh, yeah, so we're well into it now, probably nearly halfway. Again, Wood Green, I think. Wood Green Cricket Club. Um, 14 and a half miles more or less give or take and uh, cutting across some lovely water meadows here as you can see I think we're fairly close to Fording Bridge we've got to cross the main road again at some point we're still on the east side of the 338 Fording Bridge will be on the west uh, feeling rather hot and thirsty getting low on water so definitely want to top up Maybe have another five minute rest in Falling Bridge and plan the, the third and hopefully final section down into Ringwood. quarter past one and we're in Fording Bridge we've done 
just over 16 yeah about 16.7 miles um, it's got super super hot uh, which isn't too bad just managing the temperature and everything else anyway so we stopped we found the uh, Tesco Express just across the road uh, bought a sandwich some coca-cola and a big bottle of water to top ourselves up with and I think that will keep us going quite happily down to Ringwood which is suddenly worth somewhere between six and ten miles we're not too sure yet um, but anyway I don't think we're going to be running a lot of it um, I managed to pour some water on Ella's hat which is nice it's cooling my little head down um, so yeah we're just going to manage ourselves carefully uh, yeah taking our feet out for a little rest as well just give the toes a stretch and just yeah everything's holding up fairly well so far to be honest but uh, yeah long way to go um, but having actually a really really nice trip um, yeah we will get ourselves back together and rejoin you back on the trail see you soon bye for now bye bye Just leaving Fording Bridge. Ah, look, taking a map, and we're here, St Mary's Church. And we've just got this little stretch down here, across the main road at Ibsley, and back in through the lakes, and we're going to finish at Ringwood down here. Not sure how far that is, but we started at Salisbury. We've done all of that. We're here. We've got to get to there. So I reckon we've done about two thirds. Another seven or eight miles to go, maybe. Let's see. Anyway, we stopped for lunch. We're feeling a bit better. About a mile out of Pauling Bridge now, and uh, we're down a fairly overgrown little single track path. And now we just seem to be back out on the water meadows again and heading uh, sort of eastwards, I guess. So, uh, yeah, when the sun comes out, it's baking hot. When you're in the shade, it's actually a little bit more comfortable. But there's a nice breeze, and uh, it's not unpleasant at all. A little bit overgrown here. Brambles and nettles not doing us any favours, uh, but it's not that bad. Okay, so mild peril coming up. Just um, encountered some people heading back on the route, and they said they'd followed this path down because they were trying to get to Ibsley, uh, which is on the trail. But they said they've encountered chest high nettles, and I think that's what I'm seeing here. So, you may have a problem. Right, that is the problem. It looks pretty much closed, doesn't it? Okay. Let's have a look. bad yet. Put my long sleeve top on and then just avoid the worst of it. Don't want a few stings on the legs. <coughs> Gonna get those anyway.
Okay. Oh, so far so good. Haven Valley Path, late summer. Yeah. Oh, might be alright. Might be alright. Okay, this looks a bit deep. Okay, let's just try flick through. It's not too bad, not too bad. Not so many nettles here. Okay. Oh. Oh, we've made it this far. Well, um, through that section, so far, so good. Let's keep going. Oh. Oh. We're back on the road or a lane. And uh, I saw another couple heading towards the nettles, so I just warned them. But I told them it was okay, so but, uh, but they don't regret me telling them that. Anyway, here we are. Um, yeah, I'm building a little bit of a back lane now between Fording Bridge and Ibsley. Um, uh, at some point, I think we cut back off the path and go across country. But uh, have a look. look at this little cottage. Double in the 16th century. There's a dog in the house and a pig on the roof. And a cat on the floor. Mm -hmm. I think we'll just move on. Don't upset the dog. Twenty miles and more cows. These ones don't seem as interested in me as the others, so uh, I'm just going to keep walking across the field in a straight line and let them carry on doing what they're doing. I think they're little ones, so uh, they might be bulls. I'm not going to go and have a look underneath any of them to find out. Oh well, uh, yeah, we're uh, coming back towards Ibsley. So we've negotiated Fording Bridge. Got a little bit lost. Uh, we had to backtrack about backtrack 100 metres because we missed the path. We weren't paying attention. Um, so yeah, just over 20 miles. Feeling quite good actually. Uh, still quite happy to do a bit of a jog. If we've got um, all the sticks and things popped back away, we can keep moving. Um, yeah, so it's going quite well. So we're going to be back crossing the A338 fairly soon, I think. Then heading around sort of Blashford Lakes and that sort of last sweep in towards Ringwood. Um, yeah, 20 miles, maybe four or five miles to go, we shall see. Anyway, bye for now. Pit crew. Bridge. Okay, let's go. Thank you, Hunt. Here we are at Ibsley. 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 About to cross the A338. That could be tricky. Anyway, we've got to get across this road and then straight across up the pathway, I think. Let's. Uh, 
to walk down and find a safe place to park to go. I'm across, she's across, we're across. Footpath up through here. Okay. refuge to some uh, royalists who were fleeing from Cromwell's army I think and she was caught I think it was the infamous Judge Jeffreys who had her um, had her executed poor woman but they named a pub after her and it's a very nice pub and it's around here somewhere but we won't be visiting today anyway there's a little ford here over the river, which is a very pretty place and you see lots of people have come here. Enjoy it. Oh my goodness, there's a nice green van. That is so tempting, isn't it? Scooping. Hmm. Let's some. Um, let's just go over the ford, shall we? Sailing club, or spinnaker club as it's known correctly. There's some sailors out. We'll see if we can find a better spot to work, to see them. My, my watch battery's low. I've been out too long. Oh well, never mind. 